So it's Friday, and uh, today is the day. Uh, Nitro Circus Live tonight. Yes! I am so excited. Um, so I better get ready and uh, hit the road. and it was amazing. I'll leave it up to future me to give you guys a rundown. Um, I'll do a full review in the morning for you. Uh, it's late now and I have a two hour drive to get home so I'm not going to do a review right now but um, here are some clips from the show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, are you ready for excitement, thrills, laughter, curiosities? Nitro Circus live show is when Aaron Fotheringham gets to the top of that Gigano ramp. Wheels is such an amazing person and his story is so incredible and I can't help but tear up a little bit every time he gets to the top of that ramp and the entire crowd starts chanting his name. It is one of the most amazing experiences and it is so great every time he lands that trick. And you see every member of the Nitro Circus crew go running in to hug him. And you can just feel how much of a family these guys are and how amazing this kid is. I mean, most people, if they find themselves put in a wheelchair and told that, you know, you can't walk, you can't do all these things, most people give up in that situation and it is so amazing that wheels has just gone nah i'm gonna huck myself down this ramp it is just i love wheels and i think he is such an inspiration to so many people out there and his story is just phenomenal so here's his flip from last night
last night and I cannot accurately describe how fantastic it was. Um, this is the second Nitro Circus live tour that I've been to and it just, it blew my expectations. Um, last year I went to the regional city tour in Geelong and this year being in Melbourne, um, it was so much bigger. Uh, being indoors with all the lights and the pyrotechnics, uh, it really was phenomenal. The stunts were just as mind-blowing as they always are. My One of my favourite segments is the contraptions and uh, that didn't let me down this year. There was some really great stuff in there. Um, it was so fantastic to see Travis and Lindsay back on tour again. Uh, it's the first time I've actually seen them in a live tour, so that was a really awesome thing about last night. So both this year and last year I got VIP tickets, but I must say that last year's VIP experience was a lot better than this year's. Um, they were very different due to the size of the event. Last year being a regional city, it was a lot smaller and thus there were less VIPs and we were actually able to get really up close with the athletes and um, there was prizes to be won and I actually won a t-shirt and a hat which was pretty cool and we were able to get signatures which um, it was one of my favourite parts last year so it was a bit disappointing to not be able to do that this year especially since Travis was here this year. But apart from that, it was really awesome. Um, this year with the VIP, they allowed us to go in and see the last half hour of practice, which was really cool. My little touch of fame, uh, when Travis was calling for volunteers for the four-man flip, I got up out of my seat and I went sprinting down the stairs, right down to the railing, and Travis was literally like a metre or two away from me, and I was like so desperately begging. And he looked straight at me and said, I'm sorry, you're too cute to risk hurting. And even though I was so crushed that I didn't get to do the four-man flip, I'm kind of okay with that since Travis called me cute. I did fangirl a little bit and my dad did tell me that I needed to calm down. Overall, I've got to recommend this show to anybody. I don't even think you need to enjoy motorbikes or extreme sports that much because this show is just so big and so massive and I think anyone can appreciate how amazing their tricks are and just the atmosphere in that venue. I mean, I've been to a lot of shows at the Melbourne venues um, at Hyacinth and Rod Laver and nothing has stood up to a Nitro Circus crowd. It was phenomenal when everyone was screaming and cheering. It was just mind-blowing. So I definitely recommend you have to go to a Nitro Circus live show in your lifetime because nothing stands up to this. So i got to say thanks to the Nitro Circus crew for once again coming back to Australia. It's great to see an American act uh, really recognise the Australian fans. We often feel a bit isolated out here so it's really great that uh, they keep coming back. I really love it and I hope that they come back for many more years. So, um, yeah.